Welcome to the Teacher Rockstar Podcast, the podcast that's dedicated to providing valuable insights, practical tips, and proven strategies to equip new teachers for success. I'm your host, Steve Hiles, educator, published author, and instructional coach. Join me in each episode as we offer a supportive platform for navigating the challenges of the teaching profession. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing 13 end-of-year fun-filled activities that you can do with your class. Now, obviously, this is not going to be an exhaustive list, but just give you some ideas of the kinds of things that one can do uh, as the school year ends. As the end of the school year approaches, it's not uncommon for children's attention spans to wane, leading to increased restlessness and behavioral issues in the classroom. However, by incorporating engaging and stimulating activities into the curriculum, teachers can help maintain students' focus and enthusiasm while also fostering positive behavior and a sense of community within the classroom. The first thing I want to address is outdoor field day. One could organize a field day with various outdoor activities like sack races, tug of war, relay races, and obstacle courses. Set up stations around the schoolyard for different games and challenges. Another thing we could do is nature walk. Uh, take the students on a nature walk around the school grounds or to a nearby park. Encourage them to observe and identify different plants, insects, birds they encounter along the way. The third thing I'd like to talk about is having an art extravaganza. Host an art extravaganza where students can rotate through different art stations such as painting, drawing, sculpting uh, with clay and creating collages. Display their artwork around the school for a mini art exhibition. Number four, conduct a science fair. Allow students to showcase their scientific curiosity by participating in a school-wide science fair. Okay, if not school-wide, just in your classroom. Uh, they can present their experiments, uh, research projects, or demonstrations to their classmates and parents. All right, number five, sports tournament. Organize a sports tournament with various games like basketball, soccer, kickball, or volleyball. Divide the students into teams and let them compete in a friendly match throughout the day. Are you a teacher who finds yourself drowning in the challenges of classroom management? Do student behaviors leave you feeling overwhelmed and drained at the end of each day? Picture this, a classroom where your students are not just present, but fully engaged, focused, and eager to learn. Say goodbye to classroom management stress and hello to success. The Teacher Rockstar Academy course is meticulously designed to equip you with the tools and strategies needed to skyrocket your effectiveness as a teacher. Curious to know if the Teacher Rockstar Academy course is the missing piece in your teaching journey? If you're ready to reclaim control of your classroom, and witness the incredible impact on your students, then use the link in the podcast description to learn more about this program. Number six, music and dance party. Host a music and dance party in the school gym or outdoor area. Play upbeat music, encourage students to show off their dance moves or participate in group dance routines. Uh, the seventh thing, would be an outdoor picnic. One could arrange a school-wide outdoor picnic where students can enjoy lunch together on the school grounds, provide picnic blankets or outdoor games, and maybe even some live music or entertainment. I know that's what we used to do uh, at the very end of our school year. Kids really, really loved that. Moving on to number eight, storytelling circle. Create a cozy storytelling circle outdoors or in a classroom with blankets or cushions Invite teachers, parents, or even older students to read aloud stories or share their favorite books with the younger kids. Moving on to number nine, community service project. Now, I know I've done this uh, on many occasions with my kids, and they really loved it. Engage students in a meaningful community service project, such as planting flowers in, in the school garden, for example, cleaning up litter around the neighborhood, or making cards for nursing home residents. Number 10, Carnival Day. Transform the schoolyard into a carnival with games, prizes, and activities like face painting, balloon uh, animals, ring toss, and a dunk tank. Invite parents and volunteers to help run the booths. Number 11, outdoor movie screening. Now, set up a, a large screen outdoors and host a movie screening under the stars. Choose a family-friendly movie, obviously, and provide popcorn and snacks for 
students to enjoy while watching the film. Number 12, conduct a talent show. Okay, now kids really go crazy over this here. Showcase the diverse talents of students by hosting a talent show. Allow students to perform solo acts, group performances, or even skits that they have prepared. Encourage creativity and celebrate each student's unique abilities. And finally, number 13, project-based learning activities. Now, experience the thrill of project-based learning where students uh, become active participants in their educational journey. From designing sustainable cities to tackling local issues as investigative journalists, project-based learning empowers students to make a real-world impact while honing essential skills. These activities offer a blend of fun, excitement, and opportunities for social interaction and creativity, making the end of the school year a memorable and enjoyable experience for elementary school children. Now, uh, I just want to say one thing about the uh, project-based learning. I know my kids have really loved um, creating and building um, tetrahydral kites. I mean, that was an awesome activity. Uh, it took us several class periods to do that, but they loved it. Uh, creating their very own uh, Varum mobile automobiles, okay? So uh, that's just a, a sample of the kinds of things that could be done. At any rate, my friend, there you have it. Our guide to keeping elementary school children engaged and behavioral problems at bay uh, towards the end of the school year, okay? By incorporating outdoor adventures, creative arts, and community engagement activities, into the curriculum, teachers can create a positive and enriching learning environment that inspires students to stay focused and motivated to the very last day. Well, my friend, we have come to the end of today's episode, but before we go, let me ask you a question. Are you ready to reclaim control of your classroom and witness the incredible impact on your students? Then learn more about how the Teacher Rockstar Academy course can be of help. Just simply visit teacherclassroomresources.com forward slash T-R-A, okay? That's teacherclassroomresources.com forward slash T-R-A. I'll put the link in the description so that you can learn more about this program. I want to thank you for listening to the Teacher Rockstar podcast. I'm your host, Steve Hiles. We'll see you same time, same place next week. And remember, my friend, you got this. This is the Teacher Rockstar podcast with your host, Steve Hiles. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of teacher rock stars. Until then, thanks for listening.